Welcome back to Killer Frequency. This is a game that we I wanted to finish up this weekend for a little bonus stream because Halloween time, it's Halloween time. Halloween is going to is going to come up soon. The real voice reveal by the way. And it would be inappropriate. It'd be gauche to play this. And I'm nothing but a uh, follower of the rules of society. It'd be a little gauche to play this after Halloween. And I liked this. I don't like this. I like this game. So I wanted to see it through. Also, a lot of people in the Discord were saying, what if you saw this game through? Live serial, hello, hello. Refs, hello, hello. All right. So just to give you a quick reminder, there is a killer on the loose. The police are useless in this town, okay? What kind of social commentary is this? And we're kind of like a coastal elite, but now we're in a small town in the middle of nowhere. And we're working with our producer, and we used to be a big shot radio host, but now we're just... Now we're just hanging out here. Okay, we got a caller on the line, folks. Let's hope that hopefully nobody gets murdered. Squishy arm, hello, hello. And you might get motion sickness while we play this game. Isn't that kind of neato? Welcome to 189.6. The scream with, with me, your, your host, Forrest Nash. Nash. Thanks take for spending your Saturday with me. And take the call. Hit the button and take the call. Oh, I did it. I just want to say that my thoughts and Oh fuck, we're getting hit with the thoughts and prayers live on air. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mayor, okay. I hope this person dies. I'm going to be honest with you, he's not getting saved. This person who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're an outsider in our little town here, Forrest. Forrest, let me ask you something. Where are you from? The U.S.? No, where are you really from? Let him die? Llama Tooth. This person, this MF is dying 100%. Marsha Marmalade, hello, hello. Oh, Peggy's based. You're a prick, Teddy. Ellie, hello, hello. Get fricked. Safe and prosperous, more like aloof and preposterous. Oh no! How do I take this guy off the air? How do I take this guy off the air? Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. I'm cutting you off now. Here's M83 with Midnight City. You know what? I do. He does have a problem. A problem. Don't say immigrants. 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 Your family's waste plant burned. Your family waste plant just Call this. So now we have nowhere to dump our garbage. The problem is that Oh. I want to play at 83's Midnight City. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. One of us. How do I take this guy off the air, man? You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it. Your producers. Oh my! This person's a real jackass. Don't you dare speak to me that way. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta kill him. This kind of thing will not happen when I. This, I'm, I'm furious right now. Look at how much I'm touching my mic. I'm furious. I don't think that I don't. I genuinely don't think that we can cut him off. I wish. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Folks, many people are saying this. Play an ad. Oh, here we go. How do I play an ad again? All right, here we go. Here we go. I don't know what the ad this is, but we're going to... Grilling spree ad. Okay. Ah, it's a mess right now. You need to play a commercial. I'm playing a commercial cassette. Oh fuck, this is like one of my personal voicemails right now. Hang on, that's not that that shouldn't be going out on the air. It's like a note to my therapist. It's like a voice memo. Remember to talk to my therapist about how my parents hurt me. Okay. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival. We did it. We did it, folks. Hedgehogs a low low. Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Hello Harvest Peggy, Queen Pageant, please don't be mad at me dogs, for, cornhole, 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 please, please don't be mad at me for playing one of our personal voicemails on the air. It's too loud right now, dude. It's too loud whenever the ads play. All right, I'm just going to stand in the corner here because otherwise it's too loud. Beard contest? I got to go check that out. 
Jesus. Maybe I'll maybe I'll grow a little beard. Win over some hearts today. Fried dough, seed spitting. Okay. No one say anything about seed spitting. It's not that kind of a thing. Oh my god. Ah, uh, we gotta listen to this ad so many times, man. Pine lawnmower racing hot dog eating contest. Gourd measure off. My gourd's kind of a grower and not a shower, though. Is that going to be taken into an account? Dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Oh, that's that's somber. Caller on line one. Caller on line one, folks. You're on the air with Forrest, with me, Forrest Nash. You just heard some racist incendiary political material. Here's M83 with Midnight City. Uh, what is this, what is happening? Didn't we already do this one? Didn't we already do this one? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. Um, excuse me. It's my friends and I. Okay. I'm so sorry. I can't pay attention to your plate right now. I'm hitting the mic. Where are you? He's just a kid? Oh my god. Oh my god. Stay with me, kid. Focus. Lord, tell me how to say no to this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? A L E X A N D E R. We are meant to be. That's probably their name. What's your name? Carrie. Okay, I don't think we've done this yet because I would have made the mistake. I would have made the joke Carrie Underwood. We're gonna get you out of there. It's actually hunting my friends and me. <laughs> that might be true. The old murder house. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't typically ever like to do victim blaming. But there's a place called the Old Murder House. I would prefer to not be in the murder house. Where should you hide? The bathroom sounds like a terrible idea. The closet sounds like maybe you can juke a little. Okay, here we go. He's here. Okay. He's here. He's gonna kill me. We don't know that he's gonna kill you. Don't move! Don't move! I don't know if that was ragged, quiet breathing. Y'all afraid to moan during sex? We got this, Carrie Underwood. You and I were gonna make it. And that, that was a... What did I, did I just get pranked? What? Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? Who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? Men are over. Men are fucking over. Icy cubed, hello, hello. You're, you're, you're joining me at an emotionally incensed time. There's an actual killer running around. You can't you can't dress up as the killer to scare your It's prank night, old man. Oh my this is how people get hurt. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's the kid who called in earlier. I'm out of here. You're sick, Jimmy. Jimmy. And I don't mean sick nasty. Icy Cube, welcome to the stream, by the way. This is a rare Saturday stream. That little idiot. That little idiot. It's a stupid tradition. Dude, me wearing the Who's Luigi costume this past week. Oh my god, is that actually the killer? Is this an actual killer in here? Oh no. And now this is a pretty tense situation, but folks, we gotta cut to Nicki Minaj with Super Bass. 
Forrest. We have to. Heather, I already called the cops. What is happening right now? Right now? Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Oh, we're fucked, folks. I graduated with an English degree, man. The old murder house? Might I suggest the local library instead? Oh my god. Okay, and then Jimmy chucked corn and I don't care. This does not look good for our friend Carrie, folks. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Okay. First of all, validate the emotions of the situation. Here we go. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. If we can gang up on the mass killer, we might be able to kill him. And then we can all go home and watch the masked singer. If only Jeannie were here. Jeannie McPherson? We have an intern named Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. Okay. Uh oh. Sounds like we got a suspect. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's a Chad here? Oh, but I'm a beta male. Oh, no. Everything okay? No. Oh, I'm sure Chad and Brad have got it figured out. Mmm. All right, I'm going to I'm going to help you delegate. Delegate. Okay, here we go. Men are over. I'm not delegating anything to those two d dinguses. About your friends. That was a grizzling Phoenix murder. Now won. here's uh, Phoenix with Listomania. Are you, okay? Are you okay? I'm in love with you, Peggy. They do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, dude. I'm I'm well, digging the I'm digging the squams. <laughs> we're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. Uh, make sure. Uh, and now we're gonna now we're gonna cut to uh, now, now we're gonna cut to uh, uh, Michael Jackson's man in the mirror Head in the clouds Not sure why we took on an intern. What is this the feral audio network rest in pepperonis? Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner downstairs Okay, so we need it. We need to go look downstairs for I don't know like said her desk is downstairs. She's got like a desk that's like hidden away downstairs somewhere and on that desk there should be like a list of there should be a, like a list of people and like her friends and stuff. I'm getting motion sickness playing this game. I don't think her desk is over here. If it's in a dark corner somewhere it's not in the supply closet. Okay, that's kind of nice. Can I leave? Needs a key. Needs a key. That seems ill-advised. Okay, that also needs a key. What am I, Kingdom Hearts? That's not opening. That's not opening. Okay. I don't think this is opening either. Locked tight. Dude, Nancy Drew references Philip J. Friday. Hello, hello. Actual Nancy Drew references with the it's locked. All right. Her desk is probably downstairs over here somewhere She said that it was in a dark corner of the room. Okay, Hamilton voice in the room where it happened There's got some smooth jazz playing This is a high-grade video cassette nice. new, new music to play. All right, here we go It's kind of based Oh, wasn't there like a desk that was like somewhere in the front lobby? Fire exit key, you know? Yeah, you know when most people are like struggling during a fire? You want to make sure that the exits are always locked so that no one accidentally makes a hasty, hasty exit or something. Okay, there's also another desk out here. I think it's like around this corner. Up your, up your you know what and around the corner. Here we go. Here we go. They really tucked Jeannie away. Friendship quiz. Friendship quiz? Might this might work. Actually cracked. Actually cracked. I mean, I don't want to save some of these people, but Carrie deserves to live. I am light Yagami in this world, and I get to decide who lives or dies. Oh, we're still squamming, baby. 
All right. Hello, I'm back, Peggy. Did you miss me? Is there a caller? Oh, there is a caller. Hey, <laughs> oh, no, I, I can I can choose to talk to Peggy. I'm uh, I'm out here standing if waving to her when I can just click a button. Enough. Carries on line one. Carries on line ready? one. Time to turn the music off. What if I want to help her avoid a murderer while listening to some squams, though? Gray, hello, hello. This All right, here we go. This is Forrest Nash. I found your friendship quiz. Unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes. We got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. Okay, here we go. Exactly. I'm ready. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete sounds kind of important. We're gonna need a spotter. Someone who can keep a hard climb. Heather, Kyle, and Hot David? I mean, I don't think that we should risk Hot David. I think we want Hot David to pass down their genes. We need we need someone to... We need someone... Please turn over. I don't I don't know if we can turn... I don't know if we can turn this... I, I, I don't know the, the button to turn this over, man. Important news. I have pizza. Life cereal. Let's go. All right. So... Someone to get on the roof. I'm, but these are all three of these options are uh, people who would. You know what? Let's send Kyle up there. Sorry, Kyle. Your days are numbered. I just I feel like the Olympic athlete for later between hot David and Heather is going to end up useful. All right, Kyle. Kyle, you got to go. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. We need someone to pick the lock. So it's Jennifer Scott. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Oh, my God. They have. They, I thought these were little dividers next to their name. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Load game? Can I Can I load the game? No, no, no. This is, this is genuine. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. 1444? I, I feel like I got to load this one. Please, I, I genuinely fucked up. Unlucky caller on this Back with an unlucky caller. Here we go. Carrie, you there. Yes. Here we go. 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 He understands. He understands now. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first thing we're going to need a spotter. Heather? Sorry. I, I know that you have a really nice uh, musical run on Off Broadway. Got such hits as the candy shop. Heather's going out there. Heather's got this. Cracked. Yes, Heather. He picked you. Now please stop talking about all your cheerleaders. Stop talking about your cheerleader trophies? Uh oh. That's that's that might genuinely be a Heather's the movie slash musical reference. We need someone to pick the lock. Most likely to break out of prison. Jennifer, she she's a conniving person. Sorry, but those are the rules. Jennifer, you carry a bump key? You carry a bump key? What does that even mean? Is that like to pick locks or to Snort bumps off I'll of getting the van keys. Okay. What the F? Thanks for the follow. Kana, hello, hello. Why not both? This plan is impressive. Let's build up the confidence, folks. Let's build up the confidence. So true, so true. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. Fast runner? It's it's gonna be hot David. It's gonna be hot David. We want him to pass down his jeans because he's so hot, but hot hot David is the hot David is the Olympic athlete here, right? Heather's not even an option because she's doing something else. Hot David. You do spend a lot of time running shirtless. Oh. They must live next door to me, baby. They call him hot David to his face? What the hell? I had an Egypt trip in two weeks canceled last night. Oh, I'm so sorry, Connor. That fucking sucks. Oh, my God. Genuinely very, very sorry to hear that. Hopefully, these grizzly murders followed by uh, followed by just the two of us by... by uh, I don't actually know the, 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 the musical artist can, can help heal. Okay, we lure the killer into a trap. Who would be the make... make Mo and wait, Cynthia. Lisa, Tammy, 
and Cynthia. So someone needs to be bait right now. Worst poker face means that you cannot hide. You cannot, you're not a good actor. So it's not fucking Cynthia. And it's not fucking Tammy. It's, it's Lisa. It's Lisa because Lisa's not even in contention for the worst poker Lisa. face. Here we go. She works in she works in the service industry. We're we're cracked. And then it's time to boom ba boom. Part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods. Uh oh. Who's our getaway driver? Um. Oh, it's gonna be Seth, right? Because Seth is most likely to end up in prison. Oh fuck. And I so I thought that like probably Seth drives really fast. Chad, Cynthia, and Scott. I, I most likely to escape prison. Oh, oh, I mean, most likely to escape prison. Prison. We still got Scott and Cynthia here. Chad, I don't really like, but Scott and Cynthia are both kind of in here. You know what? It's your turn. Oh, please turn over. I don't know how to turn this over, man. I'm like. How does one turn this over? I can't turn it over, man! Oh, I'm, I, I want to do that, but to the actual thing. I don't think it's... I, I don't even know, man. Can I look at it from another angle? Part... Oh... Okay, most likely to end up in a car crash. I mean, Scott's got to go for this. Oh, fuck. Oh, f Scott. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know if this is, what, this is gonna be right, man. This might be a little rough, man. Thanks, Forrest. Thanks, Forrest? Oh, no problem, man. Oh, no. But it was impossible to turn this over. Good luck, Harry. Oh, my God. I don't know about this. Pretty good plan. Okay, hopefully. I hope so. Uh, right. I didn't yeah, know that you could turn this shit over, man. All right, now here's uh, don't we have a new record? Animal Crossing new record? The flow crying for help. Didn't we get like? Didn't isn't this blue oh, one new? Back one again. Oh, okay, well we'll have to listen to that later. Here we go. If you're just, if you're just tuning in, we're helping a bunch of people escape an actual murderer. It's your host, Forrest Nash. After this, we're going to be listening to Passion Pit's Sleepyhead. We're good to go. All right, hit it. Okay, they're not going to let me play music. The spotter to the roof. Here we go. Okay, that worked. That worked. Is that the intended way? I'm honestly not sure. Oh my god, now I can see the other side. Oh, what the fuck? Lock picker go? Cracked? Carrie, I'm tapping the mic. Hopefully, this sends you strength. His face is lying next to him. Hey, Carrie, at a time like this, uh, uh, why the long face? Focus. I need you to leave. I need you to live here. I need you to live. It's okay. Okay. The van keys. Got him. It. Are those van keys in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Okay. Hot David should be back any second. We're schmoovin', baby. It's actually working. Oh no. Oh fuck. Hopefully I didn't fuck him up towards the end. Most likely to win an Oscar. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Did I just guess right though? Who did I send? Please be Lisa or Tammy. Please be Lisa or Tammy. Oh, please be Lisa or Tammy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I should have maybe sent Jimmy to drive? Oh, there he is. He's buying 
He's buying it? Now, push the bookshelf over. Okay. Oh my, oh my god, he went through the floor. Let's go. All right, we got to schmoove, folks. We got to get schmooving. Do a little juking on the way down. I don't know about the, the driver that I selected either. I think I should have chose Jimmy, who's like the best driver. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I picked the person that was most likely to end up in a car crash. Please. I'm, my butthole is so tight right now. I'm praying right now. Okay, now is the time to ball up one of these. How do I how do I throw? How do I throw? How do I throw? What was that? Oh fuck, I picked the I picked the worst getaway driver, man! Scott, I need you to drive, please. How do I throw this again? How do I how do I launch you? They're probably okay. They're probably okay. Okay, this this doesn't sound great. Now is the time to be doing this though. Oh my god. Carrie. Oh, she's alive! I don't understand. Dude, it's the intern. It's 100% the intern that's the killer. I can make it home. Most likely to make it home after a botched plan. Carry number one, baby. Okay, we actually let her live. He's cracked. It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. How does one throw this... How does one how does one throw this ball? How does one 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 throw this? How does one whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're gonna figure out how to throw later. Don't forget Don't Jeannie. Jeannie. Her, her friendship quiz saved, saved the day. Told you she was but there. also she's like prime Anything suspect else? number one. Controls, please? Okay, we don't know the controls. Carry. Oh Jesus okay Christ. Now. I need to learn how to figure out how to throw this hey, though. Okay, that was kind of cracked. Folks that, was a... Folks, that was a lot. We just helped someone narrowly avoid death. Now, here's Laura Marlings with Divine. It could be in settings. Control options. Throw object. R. Ah! Drop object, inspect object. Holy moly. Okay. R for throw. Stay safe. And parents, oh, oh, hug your kids extra, tight. Your kids extra tight tonight. So true. For the girl walking home in the dark. This is so weird, man. Forrest, you did not have to make a sequitur between. You did not have to transition between someone almost getting murdered and hey, here's a song for all you lonely people walking home in the dark. This is wrong, man. He's a professional. <laughs> All right, cutscene. Hey, we had a call come. We in. had a call come in. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you over here because it doesn't look like doesn't look like we're gonna need you anymore. Here we go. Oh, this song is an absolute bop though. The lines lit up. The lines lit up, baby. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. This is honestly literally 1984. This is don't thought police me, please. Forrest Nash here. All right, Forrest Listen, Nash here. We've got another caller live on 189.6. Welcome back. Stream. What's on your mind? Caller. Hey Forrest, I just wanted to phone Okay, and say this guy's casual. I, I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallows Creek. Tonight. Yeah, I'm kind of backup police that? right now, but I don't know if this is like an indictment of the city or like a good thing about me, you know? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. Is this just a pizza ad again? Trying to get everything ready for the 
harvest oh. festival tomorrow. Trying to get everything I ready. Starling security here earlier, installing the Starling. This is this system. is. So I'm a little behind. This is paid content. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. Okay, you're and Roller I Ricky. Consider you a friend, my man. My man. No self promotion. Don't allow self -promotion <laughs> yeah, this is not SpawnCon. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job <laughs> to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. <laughs> I wasn't always Roller Ricky. They used to call me Professor Ricky from when I was balls deep in academia. I don't know why I just said bees deep. By the way, I usually don't say that. Used to roll with a bad crowd. Anyway, some bad stuff. Oh no, Ricky has a roller. Ricky has a bad past. And I turn to the bottle. Oh my god, I should not be. I should not be making fun of this guy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ricky. Too late, Roller Ricky. Peggy is Peggy is so uplifting, man. Oh, dude, this is so nice. What the hell, Roller Ricky? Actual inspiration for us all? Fuck. I found Roller Disco. I found Roller Disco. Other people turn to God. Some people turn to Roller Disco. Dude, this is like me IRL, man. I I play video games to escape. It's important just to talk to somebody. Absolutely. This is cheating. Oh my fucking god. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. Welcome, Max, to the show. Here we go. Max is my emotional support dog. You know how dogs is and all that. Oh my god. You're like, you sung, where are you aiming? It's because when I aim higher, it goes way too high. Oh, cracked. Hang up on him. This is Catter Day. Now here's M83 with Midnight City. Crank the music. You're a great pair. Dude, I can actually play music right now. Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons. Free tomorrow skating at lessons tomorrow at the festival. Yo, that's actually kind of cracked. All right, here we go. Oh! Got me itching for a boogie. Could I request a song? I got eight songs. Which one do you want, Roller Ricky? Something funky. Final boogie breakdown. I can do that. Thanks again. Okay. You and Max. Be safe now, okay? All right, I don't know. I don't really know what to play here, but but this this sounds pretty groovy. What we are playing. I really needed that call, you know. After I'm I'm a great radio host, man. He talked a bit much for my taste. He talked a bit much for my taste. Forrest, this man's opening up to you about one of the most vulnerable periods of his life. Oh, he talked too much. Forrest needs to Forrest needs to die at the hands of the killer. Another caller on the line. Okay, here we go. Another caller. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Literally 1984. Literally 1984. I'm going to play the music. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Oh, it's Carrie again. Hey, bestie. How's it going? I just wanted to thank you for what you could doing what you could earlier. Are you free for a coffee next Wednesday? Ooh. Not everybody made it. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. You were so brave earlier. So true. So true. Why didn't he? Because I think it's the intern and she didn't want to kill you. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did. Is this like suggestive to anybody else or is it just me? Maybe the height of this is a little bit weird. He saw you as a victim? Maybe, maybe maybe he didn't kill you because, because or maybe it's the so intern and it's one of your friends. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me too? You've heard of bumping uglies, but bumping the mic? These stupid hazing nights have to stop. I the agree with that, so Peggy. Stay safe and rest. You did you did a great Help job tonight avoiding a murderer, but Just like absolutely. Down. We're going to send out free coupons for therapy okay. next week on the show. Rest. Could I request a song? <laughs> Absolutely. Of course. Absolutely. What song? What song? What song? Any song by Blast Processor. Blast Processor. Thank you. 
All right. Next one. Carrie barely made it out alive, and we're going to now be playing Staying Alive. This one goes out to you, Carrie. Dude, Carrie? Carrie wants an absolute you know, bop right now. Really it's weird, horny. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. <laughs> Imagine people are dying, and the only person that can help you is out here just like throwing hoops. <laughs> well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to okay, stretch your legs, take a break. the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on the air. I'm thinking I'm going to hit the slam dunk button. I'm not resuming the stream until I make one. We're never going to we're never going to finish this game tonight. <laughs> Dude, we're wasting so much paper, man. Did that even go in? Oh! Dude, sometimes Forrest does not put any, like, chutzpah behind it whatsoever. Which is... Alright, welcome back, Peggy. Dang, hello, hello. This reboot of Frasier is wild. Okay. We got a caller. Here we go. The call is coming from inside the radio okay, station. Shut, Shut that music down. off. Literally 1984. The scream. The scream. What's your emergency? Again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the team. Who is this? Awful. Who is this? Still, I'm, Still, I'm glad the girl didn't get her. Oh, you're talking about Carrie. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? Otherwise, I'm, I'm kind of in trouble right now. I'm racking up too many points. What is your song? Your name was Dawn, right? What Peggy? Yes. Dude, oh, Dawn is like bird. She she thinks that this is a dating show. What's and going I on? To ask you again to play my tune for what is your tune? Long ride home. Long ride home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Oh fuck. Maybe another song? You must really love you this love song. song. What about M83's Midnight City? No, we don't have it. Please. I don't want to argue, but what? I'm getting stuffed it. by my. It's just outside the window. It's just the outside the window. Killer. There's a serial killer on the loose. Outside, for I understand you want to hear music, but I'm not gonna die for it. I just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? The She's being unreasonable. She's being so unreasonable. Nope. Nope. I'm sorry, Don. I'm, I'm not risking my life to play. But Don't you have Spotify? Forest. Peggy, I'm, I'm, I'm calling, calling with more than a request. I know something. What? I, think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forest, and you'll find out. Why is she being so sultry on the air? Uh, well, folks, here's some music. <laughs> folks. I've just been extorted, maybe even blackmailed. Here's uh here's Lady Gaga with poker face. Should I introduce the song? Hell yeah, brother. The flow. And this is their This is their hit crying for help. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song. Please, dude, I can't make a basket. Is she serious about I don't know, Forrest. We don't really oh, know. nothing but net. Just kidding. A lot of rim and a lot of backboard. Why don't you go, Peggy? Then why don't you go and get it? It's one of, it's one of Reggie K fam, fam regulations. regulations. All right, fair enough. Can't leave the booth fair enough. Peggy. Just, you can do it, okay? All right, thanks for believing in me, Peggy. Fine. You're a good man, Forrest. Thank you. Who are you, Flannery O'Connor? Slip you to the key to our fire door. Our fire door has to be unlocked. This does not seem safe. You know, I never thought about it. Oh yeah, no, this is exactly what we were joking about moments ago. All right, I'll hold down the fort while you're out. All right, see you, Peggy. I love you. <laughs> Maybe I'll even get a caller. Peggy, do not take this as your moment to upstage me. I'm literally gonna die out there. All right, I'll take the key, and now I will. Now I will go to my untimely demise downstairs by the fire door, folks. It's been an honor playing the radio with you today. It's been an honor. 
And now I must I must lie and wait in my coffin uh, for my grisly fate. I don't like this, man. Oh, fuck. Ah! You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally... Four, shut the fuck up! Out here? In the open? Hello? Forrest, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up. I don't know where she threw out the, uh, the record, man. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Well, that, that's kind of nice. I'm cleaning the environment. I mean, this isn't really the environment. It's like a dingy alleyway. Far from the aloe now. I'm so scared. I don't want to die. Oh, please. Okay, the, the town is wrapped in a purple haze. I think this is the record. Thank God it landed. Here it is. Long ride home. Let's go. Okay. It's the scariest town I've ever seen. Do a little strafing. Do a little strafing. Why is the button over here, man? Well, this is broken. Looks like it'll be secure at least. What if we just got in a car and left? Absolutely. My credit card debt can handle one night at a motel. Ah, oh, this is good. This is good. I'm real happy that I did this for you, Peggy. No problem. Yeah, I just I guess I go frick myself. She didn't even leave, like, a window open or anything so I can shout to her. She can come downstairs. I mean, honestly, I should just stay here for, like, 20 minutes. I mean, that doesn't sound that nice either, but then maybe Pe Peggy will come get me or something. So I gotta, like, go around the the other side. Oh, maybe, maybe it's this? Oh! Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Animal Crossing new fuse. So I'm assuming that these these old dingy fuses are bad. Fuse A30. Okay. I don't I don't I don't know if any of these are good. Oh, we, we did find one before. I was messing around with it over there, but it's like actually a thing. Twitter, do your thing. Motion sickness? Anyone else? Can I get a one in chat if you're getting slight motion sickness? Because boy, howdy, am I? Was that a person? Hedgehogs, don't scare me like that. Here we go. A20. And then we got one more. Forest can only carry one thing. As we all know, uh, it would be too, too difficult for a radio host to carry two fuses at once. He's got no upper body strength. What is this actually me? I feel so safe here. What about the... What about the ominous purple and red hazes out there are, aren't aren't screaming safety right now here we go girl luigi we can't finish this game on a uh we can't finish this game well we have to finish this game before halloween and we only got one more stream day before that's the case so i wanted to i wanted to do a very casual finishing of this uh of this of this street or this game today his other hand is in use. Yeah, spinning the records, baby. Where, where? Here we go. Put this shit in there. Wrap this in a joint. You smoke that shit, it's gonna send you to heaven, brother. Bingo, bingo, bango, bongo. But this is when the killer. This is when the killer is going to be there. Boy, would I hate to be murdered right now. Of course, it locks behind me. And of course, the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. Oh, I guess oh. I'm going to have to fix that elevator. Okay. I could probably survive that fall. Okay. I'm like inside, but shouldn't I like close this man? Oh my god, I should I should close this. 
If I can get in here, the killer can get in here. What did Peggy say his name was? Oh, the janitor is really suspicious, which I remember saying last time. Report a Clive to stay alive. What the fuck? Oh no. Ah! What the hell? What the fuck? Not this. Oh. Whoa. Improv club? Yes, and. But also creative writing club, drama and theater club. Call me son one more time. Holy moly. This is the murder hospital trailer park. Call for donations to help Chuck Birdie. Festival of disaster. Oh, he's going to kill all these people. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh. Report a Clive to stay alive. Okay, nothing down there. Oh, that's cute. They got like a little, ah, you know what, Clive? You're okay with me. Basement uh, stairs. Might be important. <laughs> oh, fuck. What I hate to be murdered right now. That's where we came from. Gotta examine the garbage. Right. Uh, duh. Okay. Ah! So a guy can't have a man cave? <laughs> Babe, what did I say about interrupting when I'm, 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 I've, I've got my high school yearbook printout with a bunch of murderous things. It's my man cave, okay? Can a guy just have a bunch of mannequins in a red colored room alone by myself? Ah! This is very... I wonder how the show is going. I wonder how the show is going. Forrest, we're going to die. Your uh, your commitment to the content is genuinely um genuinely admirable, but we're about to die. Can you get you can you get your head in the game maybe? High school music Cale? Oh? This seems familiar. Oh, we're back, baby. No, never again. Can I lock you? Oh god, I hope you're locked. I hope you're locked. Oh my god. Still alive, baby. Still fucking alive. Yeah, go out again. <laughs> On air, here we go, baby. A little me time. Isn't that such a good song? Dude, folks? she's a she's and a she's a natural. For... Jesus Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I I thought something had happened. Peggy. Something did happen. I need you. Clive the janitor? Might Clive be Clive the Clive the murderer. What? Forrest, you're so weird. Oh my god. Forrest is so Hey Peggy, you won't believe this, but Clive may be the murderer. Can you just tell the information? The oh my there? god. Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell and I don't like standing around down there. Peggy, I almost died. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a yes. creepy basement. Yes. By our creepy janitor. Yes. Who you think is the Peggy, janitor. have you seen this? This is no sane human being would do this. Least, least um psychologically crazed League of Legends player. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man? Yes, absolutely. Next target. Absolutely. And we've got to find them. Yes, hospital, power station. Yes. Hopefully, I, I it wasn't a crime to move these. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations. Hit the button if you need any help. What what am I supposed to do right now? But like, oh, at least th there's some squams going on. So the next four are, maybe it's these. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't even know what to... I, this is this is the Charlie Day... Uh, this is the Charlie Day stuff. Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody is Athletics Club. So I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say that you're... You're like... Okay, you're disapparating in and out here. Crime Syndicate Impounded. Peggy, I need a little help. I don't know what How's to do. How's it going? Almost got it, Thanks. but like, got it. can you tell? Oh, okay, yeah. Because I'm a senior detective, so I don't need any hints. Tyler Wallace, real estate agent. Okay, I don't think you're anything. I only stole a few cars. What is going on right now? Gallows Creek. This is a marriage announcement. Kim Walker and Peter Stein. Okay, justice for funeral victims. This is the big wheel. Sean Everett and Aunt Williams. Aunt Williams. Here we go. Beep, beep. Look out. Tragedy. Let me tell you something. This is not this is not that Walter Cronkite uh level of you know empathy and understanding. This seems a little tacky. This seems a little in bad taste. If you're asking me, beep, beep, look out, tragedy. You sung logged on to League of Legends again? Okay. Miss Kim Stein. The deceased have been identified. Okay, Kim Stein. Kim Stein. Oh, okay, that's, that's no one. Mildred. I don't think this is any of these people. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Do you care about safety? Mystery guest, the lead engineer responsible for the thing. Okay. Is your car safe? Sheriff Matthews. None of you are Matthews. What about you? Christine's gas and repair. Okay. Are any of you Christine? No. Local legend takes to Manhattan. She moves out to Gallows. She stole our cars, then she stole our time and money. The big wheel broke free. And rolled through town. Okay, that's that's extremely disconcerting, but also a little, you know, there's there's some com comedy in there. There's a little shot in Freud, of course. Game day. I feel like that's Chuck Brody. That's a that's a Chuck Brody for sure. Again, this is this is Chuck Brody as well. Both of both of these are Chuck Brody. Can so does anybody does anybody uh know what we're supposed to be doing right now? <laughs> okay. This is Tyler Wallace, but Tyler Wallace is none of these people. Do you care about health and safety? Good. Come on down to the yearly convention. The lead engineer. Are any of you engineering club? Keith Walker, maybe in the science club? But Keith Walker isn't even any of these. Maybe Kim Walker? That's kind of interesting. Maybe they're siblings? Car Club? World Food Club? Bus Generals? Hello, hello. We're solving a big, big mystery right now. Festival of Disaster. Okay. 24-hour gas by local ex-lottery winner. I wonder who won the lottery. Okay. Recommends the flu shot. Justice for festival victims. Hang on. Investigators blame two engineers. Lead engineer, Ant Williams, and junior engineer, Sean Evans. We're talking about horror movies while assembling the big wheel. All right. Staff surge at power station. I don't even know if this is... I don't even know. I don't even know if that's anything. But you are one of the... You are one of the engineers. So the... the okay, here we go. The lead engineer responsible for the harvest. Absolutely. Is your car safe? Sheriff Matthews. The car stuff, I have no idea what, what is happening. The deceased have identified as Gallows Creek locals M. Rudd, M. Hewton, P. Stein, 
Kim Stein and Mildred. Kim Stein is none of these people. Okay. Crime syndicate is impounded. Okay. Arrests were made after a member gave up information on their co-conspirators. Local legend takes to Manhattan. She stole our cars and stole our time and money. I'm sick of being... I only stole a few cars. Trailer for sale cheap. Why do I have a feeling that Rebecca Allen is the is the car thief? I, I don't know if any of this is true or not. Diary of a car thief. Police informant tell all book. On sale now. Okay. Is your car safe? Sheriff Matthews. Surge at power station. Crime syndicate impounded. 24 arrests. The informant is referred to as R.A. Walked free with no charges. This is Rebecca Allen for sure, for sure. Okay, here we go. That's Rebecca Allen. Infamous author. That's got, this is, this is, this is Rebecca Allen, baby. Surge at power station. Festival of Disaster. That's the big wheel and Aunt Williams is responsible. Beep, beep, look out tragedy. I have no idea what's going on there. To help, we're going to get him back on his feet. Victim of the festival date last year. Official Match Day magazine. All right, Peggy, I figured it out. How's it going? I'm ready. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot. I am us. not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I don't even know what's going on right now. So somehow, between all of this information, we need to know who's next. We need to know. We need to know who's next and where they are at right now. Chuck Brady is in the hospital for sure. Gas station lo bought by local ex-lottery. A, a man who won the lottery for 14 years ago. Okay, I don't know who that is. Festival accidents. I, I'm going to say... Uh-oh. Okay, big wheel broke free. Learn from your mistakes. I turned mine into a career. Okay, that's good. Sean Everett. Okay. Tragedy stuck Gallows Creek Tuesday, yesterday, after a bus failed to stop. The deceased have been identified as... Okay, the, identi the incident is not being treated as suspicious. Miss, thank you for the 57 months. Holy guacamole. Genuinely appreciate it. Genuinely appreciate it. Okay. Then what about this power station? 1969 has been a great year so far. Gallows Creek Power Station hires 20 new staffs, 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek High. Okay. I'm supposed to know something from this? Crime syndicate impounded. Rebecca Allen. That's R.A. for sure. She stole our cars, then our money. Christine's gas and repair has sold, been sold to a man who won the lottery. Diary of a car thief. Police informant tell all book. On sale now. Is your car safe? The crime wave of the 70s will be stopped. Real estate. Contact is Tyler Wallace. Oh... Is that anyone? No, that is no one. Trailer for sale. But that's where she used to live. That's where she used to live. Okay. Justice for festival victims. Okay. And then what about this? Official Match Day magazine. 
career-ending injury to help him on the road to recovery. We are buying him some lottery tickets. The lottery ticket allowed him to buy the gas station. But then who's in the hospital? Maybe, maybe, maybe she's at the hospital because she's a doctor. Okay, he, he's actually cracked right now. He's actually cracked. Trailer park? I have no idea. I mean, this this seems like the trailer park is Rebecca Allen. And then power station has to be Aunt Williams. But I don't know what the what the tragedy here is. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. M. Rudd? Is that any of you? No. All right. I mean, I mean, I have no... What's going on here? Today is 80, 87. Today is Tuesday, the 3rd of September. Do you remember? All right. Save game. I'm not going to save Scummit, but I, I, I want to know what she's going to ask me. How's it going? Hello, Peggy. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? I'm ready. We've only Here we got go. One shot at this. Unironically, you could use some tacks and strings. I'm sure. I know. Let's Genuinely, that would help. Okay. Name first. Who do, Who you, do you think, think the, the target, target is? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Dude, none of these people are like, oh, I'm about to get murdered. Like, all of them are fine. Maybe maybe they want revenge for... Maybe they want revenge and they're going to kill Ant? Maybe they want revenge for the crime stuff? But, 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 but the, the... How... This was genuinely supposed to tell me, like... This is genuinely supposed to provide murderous intent? Like, I don't think so. Can I put you down and then... No, I can't. Okay, I can't take you away from the board. This is the words version of how you organize your puzzles. Genuinely? Genuinely? I think you're supposed to rule people out. So, she moved away. It's not Rebecca. She sold her trailer. Flu season... 84. Okay. She's still around. 1987. Learn from your mistakes. We're in 1987. Oh, it's Tuesday the 1st? Okay. So they're they're in town for sure. Aunt Williams is genuinely in town. Fuck, dude. I think Aunt Williams is probably the most suspicious out of all of them. But like, uh, but like, what does this mean? Tragedy struck, 1977. Dude, the bus thing, I have no... Crashed into a fuel tanker. So I guess that's like the, the gas station? Aunt Williams. Aunt Williams. And where will I find them? Power station. Tuesday the first. They're they're the health and safety convention. Health and safety convention. I'm gonna say the power station. The power station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. The bus lists some dead people. I know, but that's the thing. They're kind of dead, right? I don't think the dead people, they don't even match the names over here. We only got one shot at this. We have two phones. Forrest, I'm through to the power plant, but... Oh, no. They say there isn't anyone by Oh, no. Jeez. It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? Oh, my God. The call board. It, the oh, one Forrest, wrong call and the call board is gone. Forrest, I'm getting so many calls. Uh, just let me. Uh, 
I'm gonna take us off air for a moment. Oh no, I've never had to do this more than I do now. Peggy, what's happening in there? You okay, Peggy? I care about you. Peggy. I'm back. He blew up the gas station. We were, we were supposed to read the future? The fire department and the hospital. The fire department is useless now, as you know. And, uh... Why was I supposed to know that? The gas station. Forrest, you... You've got to say something on the radio. Oh, my God. How was I supposed to know that? You have to tell the town? Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Hello, town. I don't know how to tell you this. Um... <laughs> also, M83's Please. Midnight City is playing uh is, is playing in the background. Oh my Stay god. Inside. Oh my and god. How was this was oh, folks, it wasn't my fault, okay? I had all the clues, but they were real confusing. You know what would do some what you know what would you know what would be good right now? A little humor. Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. Oh my fucking Forest. god. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit Holy song, fuck. The Word. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I don't think I'm playing this game right, man. I don't, I, there, there's no way, like, I, I don't, I don't understand that. He bombed the, shouldn't I do something now? There's gotta be more in the basement to show us. Yeah, I, I should have. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back into the basement. Okay, all right, here we go. Dude, the hedgehogs, the police are all asleep. Okay, bye, Peggy. Alright, and I guess... Oh, and then who's gonna play all the music? I guess I have the hard job of making making funny quips about tragic deaths. Back in the basement, I go. Dude, that was impossible. Can I get a one in chat if you were also just as confused as I am? Can I get a two in chat if you actually kind of knew what was going on and could suss out all the clues? Honestly, I would listen to a detailed video essay explaining how we're supposed to solve that one. Because I do not, I do not agree with that. Not even a little bit. That one was extremely confusing. If any devs are watching, I love this game. I love the flavor it's bringing. I love the atmospheric vibes, if you will. However... That puzzle was impossible. Don't tell me anything has changed in here. Okay. Uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? It's the man cave. This is where most people play League of Legends. I would unintentionally get so many people murdered if I was in this profession. Same. And I, you know what? I'm a, I'm a little bit close to the podcasting industry. This is, this is very menacing. It's like that one senator while Obama was speaking. You lie! Okay. Hmm. A, key. a key. Was this always here? Uh. I missed it when I brought everything upstairs. What key are we talking about, friend? What, what... What key are we talking about? And why did it go ding ding while I was over here? Did I did I already pick it up? The key to our hearts? Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts is light, by the way. It'd be funny if something funny was in there. Okay, well. I think I should have the key in my inventory. So I'm just gonna act like I do. Also, I'm pretty sure I left the, the entrances open last time, but I'm not going to hold it against the game for auto-closing the doors. I hope that's the case anyway, and not, you know, not, you know, the guy came back. I have a suggestion. Gray, absolutely. I'm, I'm here for the suggestions. Stop giving us motion sickness while moving. That I can't do. That's the only thing I cannot do because I'm schmoovin'. Maybe there should be a system to keep track of the people who buy mannequins. Hey, some of the people who buy mannequins are just honest, red-blooded Americans who have fetishes, okay? Follow where the mannequins are pointing. The 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 thing on the um the thing on the 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 desk was a screwdriver though, right? I think we touched it. We did not get it.
Thinking of an old boss? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. No, great. I think you might be right. That might have not been a. That might have not been a screwdriver. Oh my god. Genu it looked like a screwdriver, though. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about a drink that's half vodka, half orange juice. He knows. He's been to a party before. Dude, orange juice and alcohol, kind of a goaded combo. Kids, turn the stream off. Can I get a one in chat if you agree? Like a mimosa? Genuinely pog? Half and half? Oh, no, wait, wait, what is it? It's like not as much vodka, but like a lot of orange juice, right? A key? That wasn't always here before. In retrospect, there's a lot of fucking arrows. In retrospect, there's a lot of fucking arrows. Oh my. Basement storage. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Interesting. Okay, basement storage. Uh-oh. How big is this basement? What's the square footage on this? You paying property tax? Huh? Oh. Oh my. Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the internet. Peggy, I'm literally never going to forgive you. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Buzz the intercom. Okay. There's still more to do here. That's the intercom. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Okay. What? Maybe the tape will give us more information. Here we go. Now, imagine if it's M83's Midnight City. I, will, I would shit my pants. George Ballow. George Ballow. Okay. Oh, this is Clive that's talking. Okay. Follow the maps. Follow the tapes. I'll be waiting. Oh, this is just your average League of Legends player. George Barrow? George Barrow. He drowned after a night out drinking. Okay. Maybe one too many screwdrivers, which are vodka and orange juice. They put the YouTube clickbait arrows next to it. <laughs> Find the tapes? We gave you all the clues, Mr. Police. All right, now I got to look in here. Imagine if there was a killer in here and the whole fucking time, like, it was just, like, gated off because we couldn't, uh, we couldn't enter. Uh-oh. Okay, flashing lights. I mean, there's flashing lights back here. It's got to be important. Delivery note. Forrest, you would say something if this was... Okay. Starling security. Factory access codes. Oh, we're, we're going to have to help out Roller Ricky. To, to not die. Oh, fuck. Roller Ricky, your life is going to be in my hands, and I don't know if I can handle it, brother. You got a cute dog, too? Small lacerations to arms, okay. Female voice. Typically obtained by running through foliage. That foliage? You mean that devil's lettuce? As though the deceased had been running without stopping. Dude, they got zombies? Acoustic foam? Pog! I know that. Okay. Where am I? Okay, this is like a box with a computer in it. Additionally, there appears to be a post, post more. How big is this basement, man? It's trapped in a car door. This seems safe. Seems good. This seems safe. Press all the buttons. Okay. None of these buttons seem to do anything. Oh. Subject feared for his life and was chased. Okay. And then they fall a la Humpty Dumpty style. Oh, they got a truck magazine. They're not a killer. They got truck magazine, baby. 
Dr. Sullivan, we need to have a talk. Is that a recording? Shut it off. Okay. This guy does not sound very, very reliable. He sounds pretty fucking evil. He's just got one of those evil voices. If you're listening to this, then... Oh, Clive is already dead. He's not going to kill us. I'm a man who likes to stay informed. Okay. I've got subscriptions to newspapers. Okay. I noticed these headlines cropping up in those papers. One after the other. Each headline about a murder. I'm going to be honest. You should have told someone about this. Murder of the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. I'm on the damn desk right now. All the murders of the people we know. From our high school. Watch this show on CISO. Okay, here we go. None of us are innocent. Okay. That's good, because I've let a lot of people die. Oh, there's a Humpty Dumpty thing here. You can, you can maybe do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. Uh-oh. I didn't kill anyone? You should have said something, Clive. Then maybe you'd still be a Clive. If we, if we get killed right after this, I'm going to be so mad. Employer that my family would ma pay a high price if I ever spoke out. I mean, if you're dead, you can't exactly violate an NDA, right? Whoever the hell you are. Hey, it's Forrest Nash of 181's The Scream. All right. Well, Clive is dead, Peggy. You hear about this one, Kevin? Dude, this is a very atmospherically designed game. It's very spooky, I'm not gonna lie. If I go fast, they can't catch me if I Naruto run? Okay. Peggy, I, I did st I did things. Found, Peggy, I did a thing. Tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes. Okay, maybe I was supposed to come back after every single tape, but that doesn't George seem right. What would drive someone sure to do yet. that? Okay. I found a tape that introduces. A yeah, yeah. New story. detail. Clive is apparently dead. Oh apparently no, never mind. We haven't gotten there yet. Got his arm got door. caught in a car door. Yeah. After he died. After he died. That's kind of interesting. I mean, not like, haha, -ha, interesting. Not like I'm happy to hear that. It's just interesting though. The coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. Okay. George was. George was running from something. Maybe his Maybe, taxes. But then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was He was moved post death. death. Okay, that's kinda it's kinda weird. Yeah, moving the body. I've heard of rocking that doctor, body, but moving that body. Dr. Sullivan to stop recording. Dr. Sullivan. Dr. Hey, Sullivan? Virginia Sullivan? Sullivan? She was her is she still alive or is she still dead? Or is she is she dead? Was involved in the conspiracy around this boy's death. If only she had made it. Ah! I could have learned more about what's going on. It's okay. We did what we Okay, well, what if we're the killer? I mean, girl, Luigi, we're, we're pretty much the killer, considering our, what we've done. I think I found Clive's last recording. He's already donezo. Is this a podcast? We're just one Squarespace ad away from being a fully fledged podcast. For playing a part in covering up George's death. What? He, this behind in case he, died. he hoped he someone would find it. Good thing I, I'm like a piece of trash human. Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight. Oh, I can't believe I said report a Clive to stay alive. This was not very. This was not very pog of me. We don't know how many there really are. That's true. Speaking of dark, here's Katy Perry with Dark Horse. And that the murders were all folks who knew Mur murders were all folks who knew about the incident and they kill I can't wait to watch a YouTube video essay that explains the plot of this game to me after it's done he wasn't tracking people down to kill them he was tracking them down to save them save me he said he said his employer threatened his family wait is it actually me 
Is it Peggy? Are we the employer? Oh, is this a capitalistic allegory? I need to find all the tapes. I need to find all the tapes? Well, there, are more tapes there, there must be more maps, maps to follow, follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something. Oh, I need to, I need to find... There's like a tape somewhere in here. There's like a... There's like a... There's like a tape. Uh-oh. I gotta, f I gotta find more stuff. But I feel like I, I found all the stuff. Oh fuck, friends. <laughs> oh no, dude, don't, don't we know what's going on, Becky? I don't want to spend more, any more time down here, man. Just trace your finger over every pixel. This is a damn mouse trap. I should not be picking that up. Okay, a lot of empty storage space. Honestly, what a luxury. So I've played you. Oh, maybe I haven't played you. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. Oh my God, I genuinely didn't find that one. Dead for five hours. Okay. Peggy, I did it. Are you proud of me? It's an autopsy tape. Oh my, this is, oh, we did this so out of order, man. So we should have done it. We, this, this should have been first. Oh my God. I did it, Peggy. I found it. I think I found everything. No, there's gotta be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. I gotta do, I gotta find all the tapes. Okay, here we go. All my, all my tapes gone. All my apes gone. seems to be the case radio station is going to be flooded with mice now i know that the, the whole thing is like open air right now people are about to come like everything is um open to the to the people the loading dock is still very much so out out and about can i can i open any of you okay here we go that's fine this room is dunzo it's dunzo washington now, I will treat. This is also done, right? Small lacerations. We've listened to you. We've listened to you. Okay. Nothing over here. Oh! Maybe you haven't been played? Preliminary toxicology shows no signs of inebriation. We found everything. I would like to get out of here. However, a high level of cortisol was found. Well, that's that's stress levels. He knows. He knows. Why? I'm swimming in cortisol every day of my life, brother. All right, here we go. Peggy, I did it. So, can you say you're proud of me? They found no screwdrivers. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is definitely the Nancy Drew pipeline of... Make sure to touch every single pixel. That that kind of game design. Mm hmm. I think so. What's going on here? I missed a lot of the tapes, Peggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They hired Clive to make it look that way. Dude, I think it's the security. It's the security company. Okay. Oh, and if you have a minute, why don't we go God, you're back. search for clues written Lord, from Clive's ego? Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. Dude, she's got high cortisol really? right now. How are we supposed Peggy, to keep a show maybe, going maybe, uh, maybe do a little bit of this to pass the time. Beats me. Beats me. But we gotta do it, and we're going to. Even if there's a killer out and about, like. So. 10 feet What's from us, now? the show must go on, baby. Excuse me? Excuse you? Sandra? What would Sandra know? I don't know, but we have to start somewhere. Anyway, just be careful when Just be you're careful talking. when you're talking to don't her. Don't push too hard. Don't push don't too hard. Okay, we don't want to frost nicks and right, cash money. Hopefully she's at her, she's jazz, at her jazz, jazz studio. Dude, she, it's 3 a.m. How are these people staying up so late? Aha. Uh -huh. Forrest, you're through. Okay, hello. hello. 
Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studios. Jazz Pizzazz Hello, Jazz Sandra. Studios. Sandra, what up, what up? We've uncovered a lot of information. Dude, I'm so good at this now. How jazzy. Casual laughter? <laughs> We're just trying to understand all the grisly murders that have been happening. Dude, I can't even bob the mics anymore. Oh, no. I don't like this. Why were you targeted? Do you know? I'm not pushing too hard. Why, why were you almost murdered? Knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. Okay. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific... You know a Clive, Sandra? You, does a Clive frequent the jazz studio? Okay. Are you keeping secrets? Pina, are you keeping secrets? Mm -hmm. Don't play games is so I rude. Keep quiet about anything. Any secrets? This is awesome. We're interrogating someone live on the air. The death of a boy? Huh? Panic at the disc disco? The death of a bachelor? Arthur Miller? Death of a salesman? It was years ago. You know what? Don't push too hard. You okay? Are you okay? It was years ago. Oh, he's cracked. We know. We know, Sandra. It's okay. We know about this. Yes. That was the confession of a conspiracy to cover up a crime. Next, it's fosters the foster the people with pumped up kicks. I couldn't lose my studio. Sure. Sure. I understand. Daijobu? He just kept going up. He said he'd the rent? Stop he, he'd stop I if... I needed to keep quiet. And everything would be okay. Who was he? Sandra? Who Am was I pushing he? too hard? He was... He said... If I told everyone I found the kid in the reservoir instead of the river... He... He... Uh, I'm sorry. I can't do this. Oh my god. But are Thank you seeing you these disco jams in the background? You, truly you did great, Forrest! Well, folks, if anyone out well, folks we almost psychologically uh, broke someone here tonight. If you want to volunteer please. some info, let us know. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just a second. That's the thing, Sandra! You shouldn't cover up a murder! Hello, that's Jack Skellington playing as Forrest Nash. Hi, Forrest! This is the this is the pizza guy. This is just the pizza guy. This is this is sponsored content from the pizza guy. This is just an ad. Now? Really? This is the, this is the pizza place. Oh, if it's his birthday, okay, you can have a little spawn con as a treat. May as well, Forrest. Fine. What's his name? He's my Uncle Roni. Is his first name Pepper? But he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair. Oh my god. Folks always Pepperoni. This is a legit Paul F. Tompkins character. This is a legit Paul F. Tom. Yes! He's so happy. I said I didn't want to do it. Don't blame me because Brian Ponty can't control himself. Don't worry. We've already We've got another caller. All right, here we go. Just pick it up, okay? Just pick it up. Oh, we're stressed. Hello. Maybe we're wearing a wireless headset. What? Caller. <sighs> Ponty. Ponty's pizza always delivers. Come rain or sleet or whistling man, we'll be there. <laughs> Jesus. 
Forest? Forest? Are you okay? Give me a mask. I'm about to become the whistling man. <sighs> Forest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forest? Sorry. People have Sorry, died tonight. Was... Forest can't handle it's two prank calls. Okay. People have died tonight and Forest Forest night. Fragile fucking ego can't handle two prank calls. I think he's spent for now. And Ponty has a high refractory period. All right, here we go. Folks, don't spend your money at Ponty's Pizza. That's wow. Luna Leaf, thanks for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we got a nice squam going on in the background. Forest hates pizza. Hey, maybe he's lactose intolerant. Let's maybe check our. Check our privileges at the door, okay? Don, uh, I bet Don we played your song, right? I didn't play your song. There's a lot going Are on. you dead yet? But please. Uh, never mind that now. First, I'm calling because I need your help. She needs our help, okay? Why? Are things, too, are, are things getting a little too groovy for you? Wow. Oh, she thanks for gifting us up to Ponty's Pizza. Holy fuck. Yes! The, the screaming was so good. Thank you, thank you. Are, Are you, you in danger? danger? I sure am. I sure am. Do you mean... yes, he's, he's after, after me, me now? now? Dude, you're so content to accept your fate. Okay. Yeah, we probably shouldn't be on the air. Right. Okay. Tell us everything. I was out following, I was out following a lead. After okay. Chuck. After what Chuck? Happened? Well, let's just say Chuck's been turned into a Chuck steak. Okay. Newfangled security system has me locked out. Uh-oh. It's the... Oh, fuck. Dawn's life is in my hands. Can you go elsewhere? Maybe get in your car and just drive? Dawn, that is just not true. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. I need that code to get inside. Okay. A man's got to have a code, and that code comes from the security manual of a security system. It's the new Woodside apartment building between Town Hall and the trailer park. Okay. I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Can you tell the, the, the truck to quiet down in the background? We're, we're producing an audio program. A neighbor's dog? Is that a neighbor's dog? Yes, it is. Oh, is it Rusty's Boy, dog? Thing and, oh. oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. I can't get any... like he's coming down the street. Dude, at least you've got some good squams while you're, you know, maybe gonna die. Or I'm gonna die. Okay. Security system's name? The name of the security system? Standard soapbox. It's a strange game for sure. Sterling Security 4000. You got a ring doorbell on there? There's a keypad. Okay. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. Thank you. Alright. Don't rip Bozo, okay? Go hide somewhere. Dude, she's she's kind of down horrendous for us, right? There's a lot of flirtatious vibes going on. Or are we down horrendous for her? Or am I down horrendous for Peggy? I have no idea anymore. Okay. Do I have to talk to Peggy? No, I can I, I can leave, right? There's still more to... What? Oh, I, I got to play a song before I can leave. Introduce the song. Every song... <laughs> You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Every yes. second matters, but here comes one of my favorite songs. Use MGMTs with electric feel. Something was Something was weird about that. Yeah, she was so calm. Well, tell you what. We have a Starling 4000. We have a Starling 4000. Is the plan to say our security code over the air? I think so, which in retrospect might not be the smartest idea. But to help someone. Okay. I mean, this is the real crime right now is not the murders that are happening. Okay, so um, it's that we can't listen to the radio while we're going down here. You know. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Back into the basement lair. It's very spooky. 
And there's the papers for the Starling 4000. Somewhere only we know. I think it was deep in the bowels of storage, right? I think it was Omega... Oh? Was it Omega fucking deep in here? Or was it the other place? I think it was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starling 4000. He's actually cracked right now. Yeah. These codes should, These come, in codes should come in handy. All right. We go back upstairs. A little squeeb right back upstairs. Front desk guru. Get juked. Door. I've heard of whole door, but going through a door? Okay. Look, sometimes, sometimes as a radio professional, you just got to fill the air with something, you know? Posting a ROT13 guess about something. I don't even know what that is. All right, here we go. Peggy, I'm back with the with the codes. Find anything? The Starling 4000 security manual. It's got a bunch of codes. Maybe the entry code. And did you find anything else? Please change these codes immediately to avoid unwanted entry. All right, here we go. Back on the line then, Forrest. I'll let you take it from here. Thanks, Peggy. All right. When you're ready. System overview. When entering. The sequential key depressions must made be made between four to five seconds of one another. If you make a mistake, press star. What do I have to do right now? Oh, time to turn the music off. Literally 1984. Done. Are you there? This is Nash from Every second matters, but we got to introduce ourselves and plug the radio station every time. What's the code to the gate? It's 715. Give... Entry code. The code is seven one five. Forest cracked. Cracked. Forest. No problem, Odon. Slight chuckle. Something is weird right now. Forest. Something is. What did we do? Oh no! Is she evil? Oh no! I just got. Oh no, I just got baited so hard, man. Um Whoops. Maybe that wasn't. Forrest, there's another call coming Ponty? in. Ponty? Not call, now. Not now, Ponty. Oh, oh. Forrest! Oh. The psycho's somewhere in the roller rink, dude. I just saw a shadow. God damn it, how do you even get in? You gotta help me, man. Forrest. We gotta Shut save Ricky. Out. We got to save Ricky, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now the stakes are so high because Ricky's actually like a good person. What... I'll kill you, Forrest. Oops. So the whistling man. Okay, that was is bad. A woman? <laughs> yeah, Peggy. Ever heard of being a fucking girl boss before? I know. I, I can't know. believe it. I, I can't believe it. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. I knew she wasn't right. She wasn't That's right. true. That Squirrel right? goes to law. Hey! Why do you think she requested that song? Maybe maybe she actually wanted it? Could maybe it be her favorite killing it. song? Could be her she likes to stab song. to the BPM oh, of that that's song. Awful. So? What now? Wait, I think that we should go get a pizza. That's what I think. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Oh no. I'm about to get arrested here. Three, two. Hey folks, this is Forrest, this is Forrest Nash. Nash. I, I think I'm an accomplice in the legal definition. Oh my god. Be wondering what to make of it all. We think here's that the our here's our take. Yeah, here we go. We now believe the killer is actually a woman. 
one who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Hey, just because she manipulated us doesn't mean she's going to manipulate everyone. Force, I had to break it to us. We're dumb as bricks, brother. We messed up so bad in this game. Na we're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay alive. I killed Roller Ricky by accident and I will never atone. Okay. This could be a fake name. A fake name. True. Anyone needs help True. Or you have Stabbing the glass help. ceiling. Please to be me. fair, it's the 80s. Women were only oh, just given the ability to murder. Is that is so one? true. That is so Hopefully, true. It's like how crazy rich Asians, right you know, on only on only after that did I did I realize it was okay hey, for me to participate in the okay, excessive so uh, exploitations of capitalism. This is Forrest Nash. It wasn't Clive. He can't even whistle. Casey Moore. Nancy Drive? Stabbed? He's, he's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Is he still breathing? He, yeah, but, but he's bleeding out fast. I okay, maybe really maybe put like a bandage on. Like, like, like apply some pressure to the wound. Okay. It's probably nothing. Hey, did you know that the murderer could be a, could be a, could be a lady? Okay. Oh, no. Forest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. Oh I no. It sounded like he might have known the person. And they just stabbed him. Was it a woman? Was it the whistling man? I mean this is this is the two 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 sides of the same coin. Was attacker the whistling man? Oh, okay. Organization 13. Please, we need help here. Well, get you help, but I need to know. Well, here's something that'll help. Here's a nice refreshing tune for you to run to. Uh, here is the All American Rejects with uh their latest hit. Wait. Why didn't she make sure she was dead? Okay. Oh no, it's not so funny now. If they're punishing people who are making bad jokes, we gotta get out of here, friends. We need an ambulance. The ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. What is your friend's name? What's your friend's name, Casey? Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach. And they in the stomach? In his okay. On the Tis but a flesh wound. Oh, the knife is still there in his leg. We'll right Don't back. love that, brother. We'll be right back. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hello. This is Forrest Nash from what Forrest, from just cut to the chase. We have a stab victim. At we have a we have a stab victim. Jason what Park. kind of song would you recommend for this situation, nurse? He's bleeding heavily. Oh God, I'm sorry, but the ambulance is. Oh yeah, which which son of a bitch uh, caused the gas station to explode? Or he's going to die. Forrest, I listen. You're, you're gonna have to get, get him, him here. We need to see him. We need to we see him. Right now. Okay. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping, the stopping the blood and finding someone to stabilize him. First aid training. Okay. No. Me neither. Oh, we're fucked. Damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. Oh, no. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Listen up, folks. Can handle that. Yes. We can handle it. We we can handle it. Sure, we Take can. some notes, folks. Okay. We're in we're in medical school 101. Then you need to get him comfortable. Get him comfortable. Stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Pressure to the affected areas. Okay. When the bleeding slows, a clean cloth will show. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. Okay. Here we go. We got this, Peggy. Yeah, he was stabbed, all right. Stabbed with some good tunes. Don't take the knife out. Okay. Okay. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. Is that true? I suppose that is true. God, that was a lot of info. 
but I think we can handle this. Yeah, Rendy, and we don't know how overflowing the hospital is. Keep going. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? I think I'm a, I'm, I, this is just school. I'm good at school. If he does, act fast. If you apply a cloth and it's bleeding through. It's bleeding through. Don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. If it's safe, elevate his legs. Elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. Don't replace the bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. She keeps me warm. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Can you give me like three more years of distilled medical school info though? Get him here as quick as you can. All right. Good luck. Bye. I love you. Okay, here we go. Casey, I learned how to do this. Here we go. How are you holding up? I'm here. How are you doing? Seen any good movies lately? That's fair. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We gotta get him comfortable. Do not remove it. Should I pull it out? Nar. Do not touch the knife. Here we go. If you take it out, don't put it back in. Rendian, that's stabbing. That's okay. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason. A massive open Casey, hole. Buy me dinner first. Casey, bleeding right now. I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, stomach though. Is worse, though. Oh, fuck. Do we need to secure the knife? Leave the knife alone. Let's do the stomach. Leave that knife alone. All right. I'll okay. just keep putting pressure on his stomach for now. Forrest, can I have a word? Did I fuck up? Okay. Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is Want to see a movie after this? What's going on? Doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be We'll still be here playing the best hits of yesterday and today. Oh, fuck. Okay. What's going on, Peggy? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. We've got music to play. There. What if other people need us? You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Okay. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. So what do we do? We play we the songs that Don does not like. Him. He's got to get to the She's hospital. She's got to get to the hospital somehow. Could someone nearby help? Maybe drive them to the hospital. I think Peggy's a killer. Yeah, She's exactly been here the whole time. Do you have anybody in mind? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training. Okay, course. they did a first aid training Karen course. Missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. Oh. Yeah, I, never mind. So. How does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25, 25 Nancy, Drive, Nancy right? Drive. Yeah? Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there. About okay. Houses. Affordable housing, Pog. People here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably. I don't even know where they live. Who lives there? I don't know who lives and there. Since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably, probably in Reggie's office. office. I'll look through their files and Dude, there's a person that's bleeding. Situation, I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are Oh problems. my god. Go on, please. It's sensitive information. So Reggie probably locked it in his safe, safe. okay? Right. Producer right. getaway, they effing. The combo for the safe <laughs> it's sus that Not she doesn't clue. have a face. Reggie's a serial, Reggie's a serial note, note taker, okay? Something in his office will give it away. That's not what I wanted to right. throw. A mug just shattered there down there. Something else. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Have you ever heard the future is floppy? The future is floppy? I'm talking what about am I floppies. getting performance anxiety on a third day? Like these futuristic things. Oh, we're in 1987 right now. You put them in a computer and they do something. A dramatic irony and. I know what a floppy disk is. Dramatic irony in full effect. Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started... The future is a floppy grower, not a shower. Placing them with these floppy disks. 
Okay. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard Imagine if you saw someone doing this in real life. Okay. Wouldn't you like vomit? I'll check out Reggie's office. Like people are dying and I'm just like chucking You'll paper balls at you. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. I just have to look around. Look around, look around. How lucky we are to be a murderer right now. Okay. I'll patch my mic down to the office. Okay, here we go. You'll hear me over the intercom. All right, Reggie's office. We just got an achievement that's like unlock all the doors in the station. Is this Reggie's office? No, this is not Reggie's office. I'm assuming Reggie's office is somewhere down here. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I feel like one of these days I'm gonna come downstairs and the fucking killer is gonna be here. Can we just lock? Dude, Peggy's room is the safest fucking room in all of all the- from all of the rooms. I want to believe that's a- that's a famous poster. Looks like I need, need a, a four-digit four code. code. What does it say? Axe forever? Okay. Do you read Truck Magazine? The tapes are overdue. Clive, if you're reading this, stop stealing my post-it notes. Clive is dead. Is this- this is not a floppy disk. This is a VHS tape. I know what floppy disks are. First aid to the injured. Reginald Scott has completed it. Okay. I, I think that's probably the only thing that we really need to know. Look around. Look around. Hint. Very important date. Oh. Please insert floppy disk. Here we go. Loading. P this be it? Pizza delivery killer who kills with a pizza cutter. Terrifyingly, there's never any pizza. Oh, this is a horror movie called Deep Cuts. 1107. Very important date for the town. Okay. 11... 1107? Let's give it a shot. Hopefully there's no like armed security. 1107. Nice. Nice. Ah! Okay. Carter Brady. Weaver Peggy. Nash Forrest. Hedges John. Lawson Karen. All right, Barbara. We need Reginald Scott. Oh, that's that's you. Keith Walker, maybe? Is there a Keith Walker in here? I mean, is it wrong that I kind of want to see what's on my own fucking file? I know there's someone bleeding out, but like, I gotta read this. What What's the hot goss here? Apparently, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf type. Oh come on! You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible... Camp. Peggy, we can't ever have any fun. What the hell? Okay. I'm um, Now I want to read Peggy's. Hedges John. Okay. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I'm so scared right now. Refuse to engage with the first aid course. That was so scary. I'm so scared right now. Oh, this is fucking Peggy! Hey, Peggy. I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't... I didn't mean to do this. I did not mean to do this. We didn't know that. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peggy. Possible. I'm very, very sorry. I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. Karen. Okay. Uh, right, right, right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's going to be the last fucking one. Oh, my God. They're going to die because of me. Oh, thank God it doesn't relock. Oh, my God. 
Here we go. Barbara's getting really along. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming Forrest would say something if, like, it was the right... If it was the right thing, you know? If it was the right person. Oh, um, it's gonna be the last one. Bradley. Brad and Barba ended up missing most of our first aid training session. So it's not Bradley. And it's not... Barbara. It could be Karen. Hopefully she doesn't want to talk to the manager. Right, she Karen Karen missed it because she was going with Peggy. Okay, it's not you. It's not me. Hedges, maybe? He refused to engage with the first aid trainer. But he was a war medic. He has a bunch of medical equipment in his home. It's absolutely this guy. It's John. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think I know who to call. I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. John right, Hodgman. Who should I? Hello? Is anybody there? Please. Casey, you would not believe the things that are on my file. Uh oh. That's not what the nurse said. He's going into shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just. Okay, what 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 happens when they go into shock? Slow down. No, the bleeding is slowed down, which means we gotta make him comfortable and lift his legs. Okay, here we go. 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 Peggy, you weren't listening. Elevate Jason's legs. I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Poor Casey, she has no idea about the gossip. Casey, she we're gonna tell her over brunch and she's gonna laugh so hard. Okay. I propped his legs up on some boxes. What kind? We need to get him as warm, as comfortable as possible. Macklemore voice, she keeps me warm. I still have some laundry. You have to sacrifice clean laundry. Ah. Uh. Okay. He's gonna be okay, I think. Y'all afraid to moan during sex? I'm gonna put my partner's ear like sorry, sorry. He's not doing well. That's okay. You would not believe the floppy disks. He's going to be fine. He's going to be pogged. We know who to call. He knows he's going to be okay. Okay? Okay. What does he need? A living wage? Call John. John Hedges. John Hedges. Cracked. He lives on Nancy Drive. He's a former war medic, baby. Cracked. Peggy, you will be so surprised what we don't know about our neighbors. According to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. Now is not the time to gossip. Five, four, okay. Two, zero, seven, I don't know where he's five. getting this information from, but. Oh, he's up. John. John, it's Forrest Nash. Oh my God. Forrest, can you just? We have an emergency. Can you just get to the chase, please? If this is a work emergency. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Someone's dying right now. Oh, 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 This is a medical emergency. This is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or never mind. He's badly hurt. Also, I've got I've uncovered some goss about you on the boss's terminal. Don, you don't even listen to the fucking show. It's so fucking serious right now. This is not a prank. But you, you but it's like riding a bike, right? What's his condition? Stabbed. 
I think we got his friend. Like the worst condition possible, besides dead. Right oh my god. Do you know the extent of his injuries? Stabbed, John. What about stabs? Do you not understand? And one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg. And the stomach wound is Please. Understood. Okay, okay. Okay, John. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, John is pretty based. Hello, Casey. Are you there? Casey, are you there? Would you like to listen? This is a pretty harrowing situation. Now is we could you really use a sing along song? Um maybe maybe here's Billy Joel with Piano Man. What about now? Is he still thrashing? Hop to it, but what kind of knife was it exactly? We found someone, all right. My colleague, My colleague will be there soon. He's a podcast producer, so you know they're going to be in safe hands. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. Come on. Hello? 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 Don't you two worry. We've got this. Thank okay. you, John. I love you. We'll call you back later. I have to go now. <laughs> There's Chef Kevin. God, I hope he's gonna be alright. Okay. And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. And with that, the show moves on. Well, after all that excitement. Forrest, your priorities are so fucked up. Music. Forrest, you're so, you're so, you're, there's no saving you. I literally, I'm so mad at you. You, you, you oh, I'm so fucking mad at you. Also, does anybody know, uh, how much more game is in this game? Because we've been playing, for, I thought we would finish in the next, in, in these two little hours, but it looks like we might be buckling in for a little bit of a prolonged experience. Was that... I, I did that, right? I did that. Yeah, I did that. Comfy studio. Lock the door, maybe? Oh, okay. Yep. Open door policy. Oh. Here's... You've heard about stabs. Here's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and X. Do I want to introduce it? Yes. It's funky. It's groovy. It's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Getting pretty late. Forrest is the this worst human be being. Can I get a one in the chat if he's the worst human day. being? Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. <laughs> How long to beat says five hours, but I don't know if it accounts for shooting hoops. <laughs> I mean, I'm crap. Oh, that would have been incredible. I think we're close. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's I'm ready. Uh, let's roll, got baby. We've got another call coming through too. Forrest deserves to be disgraced. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Literally 1984. Oh, we have call coming in, but hang on. What's up, Peggy? The call's coming from inside the studio? Oh. Peggy? You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. Just do it. All right, folks, it's time, it's time for, for another track. track. Here's, Here's one Storm one. Riders. Relax. We'll be right back after this. Let me introduce this song. It's funky. It's groovy. This is good news, Peggy. Who's Ponty's Pizza? Find out for yourself online. Find what? out for yourself. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds like it's been a Hello, Leslie, from the beginning. It's Leslie, our nice oh, guy. baby. Okay. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? Are you Daijobu? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to Maybe, be maybe, back. maybe bring, We're like, some police. Wait. Who's Sarah? Deputy Martinez, who almost died at the start. Okay. You've been listening in? What have you been thinking about the songs? So help, it's on its way. Non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. Ooh. How many likes can our boys in blue get? <laughs> okay. Somebody had cut the phone lines. Okay. They weren't listening to the show? Crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. 
but that doesn't matter right now. Gaslight Gatekeep, by the way. We're coming in hot, but we need your help. We're coming in hot. Gallows Creek isn't a big town. But if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Okay, that's where I come in. What do you need? Down on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. Dude, I'm organizing my desk right now. <laughs> I'm just organizing right now. Okay, I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town. So if she calls, stall her. You ever listen to the Doughboys podcast before? Oh, I can stall all right. Try to figure out where she is. Okay. Okay. I'm cleaning right now. I'll do my best. Gambare. Here we go. Podcast producer saves saves the city. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan. Someone needs to wash these mugs. We got to get like a cabinet in here. It'll be with our killer behind bars. Agreed. Take care now. Okay, bye. I love you. Oh, these are a serial thriller. Oh, maybe there's these are other ads. Let's get back on the air. Anytime then. Let's get back on air. You got it. Bringing you back live now. Here we go. The scream with me, Forrest Nash. Here we go. Is lit up. But before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up, baby. But for now, let's bring in our next caller, Ponty's Pizza. Evening caller. Ponty, hit me with it, baby. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges, baby. Okay, here we go. It's it's genuinely a crime that we let um that we let Roddy Roller Roddy die. Okay, let's go. No problem. Make sure to subscribe to the Patreon and use your Twitch primes if you have Amazon Prime. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John Casey. John is a hero and he's a really nice baritone. Jason to get well soon from us. Whenever he's up for it. Why don't you tell him yourself? Forest. Dude, Jason, hello. We meet at last. What did you think of the music that we were playing while you were almost dying? I got a hole in my stomach. Sounds like you've been eating Thanksgiving dinner at my in-laws. Oh, he's 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 dosed up on morphine or something right now. No, oh, he's dying. He's still dying. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, what are what are these made out of metal? Guessing the whistling man is still out there. This is this couch is made out of metal, man. Can we this is, can we return this? Why do you ask? Yes, the whistling man still out there. Is Forrest's last name Kruger? Freddy Krueger, yeah. like pepperoni? Can we talk about what happened earlier? Go for it. Casey said when you were attacked, your assailant said something like... It's not so it's not funny, funny now. now. Were they by chance a stand-up comedian? I've heard that voice every <gasps> Another perpetual motion guy! Okay. Does the killer live in Gallows Creek? Oh, I love this. <laughs> the plot going on in the background. They don't live in Gallows Creek. What? Sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Okay, Peggy, you take that one. Oh, we know George Barrow, all right? We know George Barrow. The boy who lived, aka the boy who died. Everyone's going to jail. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead. Okay, that's pretty sad. Dude, this is a corrupt town. It goes all the way to the top. Town moved on like he never existed. Just to, just to make sure he still exists, here's Alicia Keys's If I Ain't Got You. Who killed George? Oh, here we go. Some of the guys on the football team. Oh, hazing. Oh, fuck. This is getting too real. Party in the woods. Have the whistling man crash it. This is a... 
This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. I was the stabbed friend. Number two on the call sheet. The party that night I left the group for a second. Mad R. Whistling man. Did John J give Jason a stab of adrenaline? I have no idea what happened. Jason, suck it up. We've been responsible for people dying. Okay. The last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream. Her? Yeah. George's girl. George's girl? Yeah. We call he called her he Bean. Called her. Oh, Bean is probably done. Oh, wow. Her name was What? What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. We said the power is completely gone. How do we get it back on? Mrs. Bean. Me and Mrs. Mrs. Bean. Reggie picked it up a while ago. There's a generator? An emergency broadcast? How are other people gonna listen to M83's Midnight City? Broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Fair point. It's in the storage area. Storage area? Up on the wall. Far back. You might have spotted it earlier while you were digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. I think I know exactly what she's talking about it. You don't want to go together, Peggy? Oh my god. Peggy is not who I would want to be stuck, like, in a real emergency with. Oh, fuck. It's okay. Just don't look at anything that could be scary. It's okay. Don't look at anything that could be scary. Don't look at anything that could be scary. Don't look at anything that could be scary. Basement storage area. Just don't just move really fast. Don't look at anything that could be scary. Basement storage area. Oh, okay. There's still some power in here. It's got some glow in the dark stuff. Okay, here we go. Far back corner. Far back Why corner. Here we go. 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 Oh, uh, they're right behind me, aren't they? Far back corner. This is it. This is that it. That must be it. Oh. We've got power right here in River City. Whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Forrest, we need to leave. Peggy was willing to throw us to the wolves, okay? She can fend for herself. <laughs> no, we gotta save Peggy. But also, maybe we can leave. We should warn Peggy. But also, we considered fucking leaving. If you Naruto run, the bullets can't hit you. Okay. Mm. Ah! Jesus Christ. It's okay. It's okay. Go fast. Almost there. Oh no. Oh no. Peggy. Where'd you go? Ah! Ah! This can't be happening. Hey! That's my metallic ass couch! At least play some good tunes! A, a call. What do you what want? Do you Good to talk to you again, Forrest. Mm, we just clean in there, I know! Tonight. Where's Peggy? Hello, Have Bean. Yet. Good old time still. 
so let's make the most of it. I'll give you this mug if you don't kill me. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well, Someone's got to clean in here. I thought we'd end tonight's whistling man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Okay. Well, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch. Whoa! Language! Is this Don? Teddy Gallows Jr.? Who who is this? Your daddy and his money saved you twenty years ago. But even he crawled out of his car. So this is the person that like orchestrated the hazing, I think. Where the hell is Teddy? How how are you talking to him if you're here? Yeah, what well, what's going on here? I'm not there with you, Forrest. Then who the frick is this? Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows I'll get it. But then who is here? Is this Peggy? Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows. To Ponty's Pizza? To my boy, Henry Barrow. Oh! Hi, Henry. Nice to meet you. Don't okay, he just, he just did one of these. Shine. That's what I would say in this situation, though. There were two whistling men tonight. Oh, what a night. Late September, two murderers here. Barrel? That's... Are you... Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. Take this! There we go. Take this! Take this! Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, we can still we can still do our special thing. Quiet, Teddy. <laughs> EMP, how's it going? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. You killed George that night? Okay. Not a moment before. Uh oh. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. Can you give me the chance to play some music? Really happened to George all those You're gonna help me reveal what happened. What? Ooh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. You got a you got a lot of control here. Let's talk about the night. Let's talk about the night George was murdered. Teddy is so gregarious now. Listen, it was all a misunderstanding. Let's go get some pizza. I said you speak when you're spoken to. Okay. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. Yes. That's why I want you to interview us. Interview us? Are you serious? Are you serious? You you want me to interview What are we doing? Doing NPR's Fresh Air? Okay, but it was a joke on a pun about why so serious. You might be the only one to leave here alive. Oh, this is my this is my interview. Here we go. Hang in there, Teddy. I'm coming to save you, buddy. Now tell me about your childhood. Alright, I gotta buy some time. What are your thoughts on politics? Do you think do you think fate is real? If so, why? Talk me through what happened that night. Now that it started. So we weren't exactly oh, no, sexist for entirely You're sexist for assuming it was a guy. This is a confusing plot. Be honest, Teddy. Teddy, be honest with me, or we're both going to die. Honest, Forrest, I'm trapped here with a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy, what the, hell? <laughs> what the? Hey, man, come on! What the hell? Teddy is is the backup sponsor of part of Pontus Pizza. Prank the new guys. The night. Tell me why that night. That night special. That was the night Moon 
Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it up. Okay. Y'all afraid to moan during sex? Dommy, stabby, mommy. <laughs> Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? This was the first whistling night? Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near whistling. Whistling point, aka make out point. Oh, he's taking his sweet ass time. George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. Okay. Midway through the night. One of you dressed up as the whistling man. Dude, it's a crime that we don't have a. We don't. We don't have a. We don't have paper balls here. Okay, so Jason was dressed up as the whistling man. Ricky was there? Roller Ricky? He was. He was in on the whole thing. Oh no. The nuances of morality. How do you know, Marie? Ricky was in on it. Teddy and Ricky were as close as anybody, okay? So true, buddy. Okay. Well, if Ricky weren't dead, we could have heard his side of the story. It was just a stupid prank. Teddy, someone died. Go to hell. Oh, go to hell, Teddy. <laughs> oh, come on. I... <laughs> come on. What's a guy to do over here? He thought his best friend was and dead. So tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Mm. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding. And Oh, we, we, we saved the Jason. Just in time. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess that's good. Shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. Can you please stop hitting the mic? Separated in the woods. Separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of whistling, ended up near the bottom of whistling point. Okay. The whistling man grabs me. I scream and he starts laughing. I can stall for time here. We know it was Jason. How did you feel? Did you feel in that moment. MPR. MPR skills, baby. Where just where does it burning the tape? Who was under that mask? Don't we know it's Jason, right? Oh, it's Chuck bro. Oh, fuck. Uh laughing away. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, but Jason Jason was the one that would like look like he got stabbed. Okay, okay. Okay. Teddy, what happened next? Jason what happened? was fake stabbed. I mean, it was just Teddy. Oh, we have one of these. Fell off whistling George point. fell off whistling point. Oh my God. How do you know? Explain to me gravity. You know what happened. I saw it. You pushed him. You pushed him? Oh. <gasps> You were dressed as the whistling man too. Oh no! Take this. You think you can keep me in here? Take this. Now you're blaming the victim here. Oh my! Whoa! Take this! You're not gonna keep me contained in here! I believe her. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep! Asshole! This is good. This is good material. 
Keep this keep this in. My future was at stake. You know what it's like. People like us are bread. Okay, someone's submissive and breedable. Raise your hand. Okay, here we go. And then governor? Dude, you were in high school, right? But don't you don't you have any remorse? My father, My father sent Clive out to clean it up. Oh no! Report of Clive to stay alive? Is Clive still alive? Oh, you idiot. He wasn't a blip. He's a real human being. Thank God they put this over here. My ADHD has wouldn't wouldn't be able to focus. Jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. Okay, Sandra found him. Rent going up. Wow. Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. This answer the fucking question, Teddy. Yes. Okay. We own the Take this. Take this. That's it. Take this. Father was going to run her out of business. Dude, Unless honestly, lied, if I was on the line right now, I would be like, hey, Molly, I'm going to be real with you. The police are coming. If you want to kill him, you, you should just go ahead and kill him. Because we honestly don't have all night. Eventually, the police are going to come get you. Matthews, too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it. Everyone was in on it. The coroner wrote a fake report. That's extremely true. The coroner really put all of us in a corner. You'd be disgusted by it. Dr. Sullivan had survived. <laughs> Going through the end game, hearing Forrest do that like slight fourth wall break to the player being like, well, if she had fucking lived, then maybe. <laughs> Come on, man. We were trying. We were trying, man. You've been through hell. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. Started. Murray, you got like 30 seconds to kill him, okay? He shot the winning throw? Where are you? The football field. Um. Uh. Uh. The school gym? Take this. You think I'm scared of you? You think I'm scared of you? Oh, I should have guessed wrong. You think I'm scared of you, huh? Marie? Where? Why is Peggy there? Peggy? Teddy? You gotta help me. I... Quiet. What the hell? Are we gonna blow up the radio building? I don't even know what's going on anymore, man. Was Peggy in on it? Was Peggy in on it? Oh, my own sister! Was sister? Peggy, what, what's happening? Why are you even there? Wanna explain, Peggy? Earlier, she we she was evil because she had no face. She was evil because she had no face. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. That I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out that my sister is the whistling. How quaint! You too, Peggy. Did you drive there? Tell me any of this. She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. Okay. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me 
Was she supposed to be dead for all this time? Like, what happened to her? I'm sorry. This has to be. The, dude, the other option was like, Peggy, this is all your fault. Forrest, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Oh, she did disappear one day. Okay, okay. There's a lot of plot going on. I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged mom and dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. The real villains of the story. What is this guy doing? He wants me to smell his armpits? Is she gonna kill Peggy? You mean Peggy? You mean Peggy, don't you, Marie? Oh, you could you could afford to sound a little more empathetic. Well, she came to see you. What about that? Didn't she get points for that? She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here. She kept a card from you. Oh, fuck! The card you made me for my eighth Oh, fuck! I probably threw it somewhere. Oh. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now oh, Jesus. Love, M. Ah! Well, I... Thank God. I thought I threw it down the thing. Now here's Phoenix with Listomania. Leslie, how's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad. Oh no. I'll be okay. God, Marie. Hey, Sarah. Okay. I need you to look after Peggy. I need you to look after Peggy. Wait, I'm just like a radio guy though. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. Can someone save me from the 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 son of the everyone though? We're just gonna hide here. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. Ever the consummate uh, professional? Check on Peggy. This is Ben, Forrest Nash. With his patented mic tapping technique, there's only one option here. And it's Ben, a scream. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay, some people died. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's 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 very very cool. Where am I right now? I'm just like in it. Oh, well, what the fuck? Killer frequency, folks. It's a good game. It's genuinely a good game. I hope Forrest is institutionalized after. Oh, thanks for suggesting it in the disky. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining me on this gorilla uh, Saturday stream. We're going to be back next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I think I might play through um, Super Mario 1. Oh, no, no, not Super Mario. I might play through Strange Horniculture. Super Mario Wonder is a really fun game, but I don't think it's a good stream game, if I'm going to be completely honest. It's like a beautiful, super well-made game. It's got too much going on, and I can't be entertaining. And I I understand that like the game might be entertaining enough, but it's just in terms of like what I want to do with this stream, not necessarily... Your boy's bread and butter. Your boy's B and B. You know, so we might we might finish up Strange Horner Culture just because I I love that game. I genuinely love that game. It's so fucking cool. And then uh yeah, Nancy Drew um, for Friday. Anyway, we'll be back Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 p.m. PST. I'll see you in the Discord. Hashtag immediately. Uh, and then there's also exclamation mark YouTube if you if you somehow aren't subscriber only there. So till next time, Oishi Life CEO Gray Ben's Decoy Ellie Kangaroos Lightspeed Sloth Hedgehogs. Randy Ant, Squishy, Squishy Arm, Butts Genitals, Girl Luigi, Streetluck, A Hexagon. If there's anyone else that I'm missing, please, uh, please forgive me, but it's uh, genuinely been a, it's, it's been a scream, okay? 
All right, I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Bye.